Why have you come to earth? Do you remember? I'm singing way down. <laughs> to love, serve, and remember. To fulfill a mission of purpose, of the revelation of something far um, more radiant and gorgeous. I mean, when we're doing, when you're fulfilling your mission, it's like you wake up in the morning and you just think, another day I get to do this. And I get to do it with other people who are interested in doing it. They're doing their mission, I'm doing mine, and we find where that meets and we find how we co-create and we, we do things that we can't do on our own. Just we can do some things on our own, but when we do it together, something far, we, because we're holding the whole world. We're not just holding our apartment or even our bedroom or whatever. We're whole, everything you do is connected to the whole world. And so as you bless and love and fulfill your mission, you get to have this communion with other people who are doing that too. And you don't even know some of them. You, you don't even know a lot of them. But anyone who's decided that they have a, a divine connection to their primal bond and their ability to be a blessing in the world, they are your soul family. They are the ones who back you up even though you've never met them. Have you ever been in a place where you feel like uncertain and you can feel the universe has got your back? That's your soul family. It's not just the stars, even though they probably have your back too. But the, what's backing you up is your lineage, your spiritual lineage, and the people who are consciously participating in life. There is a, um, a phrase somewhere that I, like part of the uh, momentum that lives a life is making a decision and then the universe will come and back you up. That's what I find I'm doing for lots of people who don't even, I don't even know. When you send out a blessing, send out a, a prayer, it's not just about, may my wishes come true. I think we've all heard something like, let love radiate without concern for results. That can be very true in an, in an immediate sense, like I'll let, let love radiate into this meeting or into this service or into this conversation. But how about letting it radiate so that the world is held without concern for results? That's a little scary sometimes because you have to trust somebody's listening, right? Somebody's paying attention. 